This video is going to cover how to use the Digital Crit Room 115. The first thing you need to understand is that there are 75 inch in screens and they use 4K res resolution which is 3840 by 2160 pixels. Okay, and that's an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Alright, so how does this translate if you were to do a PowerPoint document or a PDF document? Okay, so we'll need to understand this in centimeters. Okay, so that when we are setting up our presentation that we set up our post-production software correctly. So like Photoshop and GIMP. Okay, so typically the screens are 9 dpi. They have a resolution of 96 dots per inch, okay, which will translate in 101.6 centimeters by 57, 15.15 centimeters. Okay, so once we understand this, the next thing we need to do is then, how do we go about setting up our files? Okay, so if you're preparing design documentation, so presentation drawings, etc., you would want to convert those to a roster and you can use GIMP or Photoshop to do that. Yes, I know a lot of you might be using Illustrator and InDesign and other applications like that, but once you've set up your presentation, you'll then have to export as a PDF or a JPEG, which you will then do the final post-production in GIMP and, and Photoshop, okay? Likewise, with um, technical documentation, you, you're gonna be working with PDFs and vectors quite a lot because most technical documentation will be in a vector type graphic on format, okay? But then you might have to convert those at a later stage in order to use Photoshop, um, sorry, PowerPoints and Google Slides to present your work. You can use Adobe, but we'll get to the next couple slides where there are downsides to using um, Adobe Viewer, for example. Okay, so the digital crit space, you've got a PC that you'll need to sign into and connect to the internet. Ideally, this will this should all be pretty seamless early on next year, but for the time being, I'm going to provide a guide on how to connect, but it should be running when you enter the space. Okay, screen setup. Once again, that's a, a separate document that I'll prepare, which will give you some guidance and help in setting these screens up. But for now, we don't have to worry about that too much. Okay, so... What we're going to focus on is setting up your presentation correctly. So using Google Slides, PowerPoint, or Adobe Viewer DC. These are the preferred methods, okay, just because it will work well in our venue. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the pros and cons. Okay, Google Slides, it's on, it's, the cons are that it's online, so if there's no internet or there's load shedding, for example, you could have an issue accessing your files, okay? The image sizes are limited to 1600 by 1600 dpi. I am working on a video to show you how you combat this issue, okay? And which means you'll have to cut up your final presentation images to the correct size and then reassemble them in Google Slides. Okay, but the pros, it's very easy to use. It's online. You can prevent, you can present um, full screen on all the displays, so on all eight displays, okay? And you can set a slideshow up with timers and you can use a red dot, etc. etc. Okay. PowerPoint. Okay. PowerPoint cons are if you are gonna use PowerPoint to present your presentations, you just have to understand how the screens work in the sense of how they're numbered. Okay. We will we are currently resolving this issue because they're not numbered sequentially. It's a number that's been given to them by Windows, which we all need to address, okay? So there's that complication. The file sizes are typically large and you're gonna to have to bring a memory stick and upload the information. You can use Google Drive, but if the internet's down or some, it's gonna take a long time, these are large files. So just remember that that could be a problem when you have limited time to get ready for your, your exam, okay? Once again, it's easy to use. You can present full screen on all displays. You can set a, a slideshow with timing, for example. And what is also neat is no there's no restriction on image size. So it's a, it, it eliminates that area that you can have with Google Slides. Okay, the last one's Adobe Viewer DC. Unfortunately, you can only view one presentation on full screen and one display. So it eliminates all the other seven displays. Okay, so maybe preserve your technical documentation for that last screen. 
Okay, or you'll have two screens which you might have to quickly jump into presentation mode and then view the presentation. Sadly, this is a limitation. Okay, we are trying to find another way to use PDF files because they are vector, which allows you, especially with technical documentation, you don't run into pixelation errors. Okay, especially with technical documentation. Okay, so the cons are one screen in full screen mode, sadly. Okay, file sizes can be large, and once again, you require a memory stick. But then again, it's quite easy to use. You can set up a slideshow and set timing. Great for technical documentation, and there's no restrictions with image size. Okay.